In the deepest heart of winter, a celestial event unfolds, marking a profound shift in the cosmic dance. It is the winter solstice, a moment when the Earth pauses, holding its breath in the vast expanse. This astronomical phenomenon typically graces our skies on December 21st, a date etched into the very fabric of time. It is the precise instant when one of Earth's poles reaches its maximum tilt away from the sun. This alignment ushers in the longest night of the year, a period of profound darkness that stretches across the Northern Hemisphere. For countless millennia, humanity has gazed upon this extended twilight with a mixture of awe and trepidation. The very word solstice whispers of ancient Latin, meaning sun stands still. For a brief ethereal moment, the sun appears to halt its southward journey before slowly, imperceptibly beginning its return. This pivotal moment was not merely a curiosity for ancient calendars, it was a cornerstone. Civilizations across the globe meticulously tracked its arrival, understanding its immense power. It served as a critical turning point, dictating agricultural cycles, hunting seasons, and the very rhythm of life. The survival of communities often hinged on their understanding of this celestial marker. Yet the winter solstice transcended mere astronomical observation. It held a profound cultural meaning, weaving itself into the tapestry of human experience. It became a focal point for communal gatherings, storytelling, and the passing down of ancestral wisdom. Its significance resonated deeply within the collective human psyche. Beyond the cultural, it possessed an even deeper spiritual meaning. It was a time when the veil between worlds seemed thinnest, a period ripe with mystical energy and introspection. The solstice invited humanity to look inward, to confront the darkness, and to seek the hidden truths within the longest night. It was a sacred pause in the relentless march of time. The winter solstice has always evoked a spectrum of deep emotions, a powerful current running through the human spirit. It is a time that stirs the soul, demanding attention. There was, and still is, a profound reverence for this moment of cosmic stillness. It speaks to the immense power of the natural world, humbling us before its grandeur. Alongside reverence, an ancient fear often gripped humanity during these long nights. The encroaching darkness brought anxieties about survival, about the sun's potential failure to return. Yet, from the depths of this fear, a powerful and enduring hope always emerged. The solstice, despite its darkness, carried the promise of light's eventual triumph. It was seen as a symbolic gateway, a threshold between realms. The world seemed to hold its breath, poised on the precipice of change. This gateway represented a crucial transition, not just for the sun, but for life itself. It was a passage from one state of being to another, a cosmic metamorphosis. Across the globe, Diverse cultures embrace the solstice with unique celebrations and beliefs. Each tradition, though distinct, echoed a shared understanding of this sacred time. The ancient Druids, guardians of the Celtic lands, saw it as a crucial transition, a moment of profound spiritual significance. They gathered at sacred sites like Stonehenge to witness the sun's rebirth. For the Romans, the solstice brought forth Saturnalia, a festival of joyous abandon. It was a time when social norms were inverted and merriment reigned supreme. Saturnalia was a festival of feasting, where tables groaned under the weight of food and drink. It was a temporary escape from the rigid structures of daily life. It was also a festival of revelry, marked by gift-giving, gambling, and the lighting of candles. The darkness outside was defied by the warmth and light within. In the frigid north, Norse traditions marked the solstice with Yule, a celebration steeped in myth and fire. It was a time of deep magic and ancestral connection. Yule was a celebration connected to Odin's wild hunt, a spectral procession across the winter skies. The air crackled with the presence of unseen forces. Odin's wild hunt a terrifying yet awe-inspiring spectacle was believed to sweep across the land, gathering souls and portending future events. It was a night of both dread and wonder. 
From the sun-drenched lands of ancient Egypt to the towering peaks of the Andes, the solstice was observed globally. Its power resonated with humanity everywhere. It was observed with intricate rituals designed to honor the sun and ensure its return. These ceremonies were vital acts of cosmic participation. These ceremonies often involved fire, light, and offerings, a desperate plea to the heavens for renewal. They were expressions of humanity's deepest desires. These diverse observances reflected a deep understanding of the cyclical nature of life. They acknowledged that endings are merely preludes to new beginnings. The profound darkness of the longest night was not for ancient peoples an ending. It was a necessary descent, a journey into the primordial void. Instead, it was viewed as a period of transformation, a chrysalis for the world. Within its depths, the seeds of renewal were quietly sown. It was a time of stillness, a cosmic pause where the world seemed to hold its breath. This quietude allowed for introspection and profound inner work. Many cultures perceived it as a cosmic reset, a moment to shed the old and prepare for the new. It was a cleansing, a spiritual recalibration. This profound darkness precedes the sun's gradual return, a slow, almost imperceptible turning of the cosmic wheel. Each day thereafter brings a fraction more light. This return brings the promise of renewed life, a vibrant awakening after the winter's slumber. The earth stirs, anticipating the warmth. It also brings the promise of growth, both in the natural world and within the human spirit. The seeds planted in the darkness begin their ascent. This symbolism of death and rebirth has been an enduring human fascination, woven into the very fabric of our myths and legends. It speaks to a universal truth. It highlights humanity's deep fascination with the cycles of nature, mirroring our own lives we see ourselves reflected in the ebb and flow of the seasons. Ultimately, it embodies an enduring hope for renewal, a belief that even after the deepest darkness, light will always return. This hope sustains us through adversity. The winter solstice is far more than a mere celestial event, a point on an astronomical chart. It is a living, breathing moment in time. It is a night steeped in history, echoing with the voices of ancestors who watch the same stars. Their wisdom whispers across the millennia. It is a night steeped in myth, where gods and spirits walk the earth and the boundaries of reality blur. Stories of creation and destruction intertwine. It is a night steeped in the enduring human spirit, a testament to our resilience and our capacity for wonder. We find meaning in the cosmic dance, the solstice serves as a powerful reminder of hope, a beacon in the longest night. It teaches us that even in the deepest shadows, light persists. Even in the darkest of times, when despair threatens to overwhelm, the universe offers a profound lesson. The cycle always turns. The promise of rebirth always exists, a fundamental truth embedded in the natural world. Life finds a way, even after apparent endings. The return of light always exists, a certainty that has comforted humanity for eons. The sun will rise again, bringing warmth and new beginnings. This enduring observance is a testament to human capacity, our innate ability to seek meaning. We are driven to understand our place in the cosmos. It is a testament to our capacity to find meaning in adversity, to transform challenges into opportunities for growth. The darkness holds lessons, it is a testament to our capacity to find hope in adversity, to believe in the dawn even when the night seems endless. This hope fuels our spirit. And finally, it is a testament to our capacity to recognize the cyclical nature of life, death, and renewal. This understanding brings peace and perspective.